Hey, what is going on guys? It's Connor here from Menu Docs, and welcome back to a new video on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make an automatically changing status. But beforehand, what I'll do is I'll show you how to manually set one. And I mean manu manual as in like it'll just say static instead of dynamically changing. And then I'll show you how to set a status. Now, don't get, you know, confused between presences and statuses. So statuses are like the little colored dots. So you've got your online idle. Uh, do not disturb and offline and then with your presences you've got your obviously your, your like your status message per se like your custom status message without further ado let's get straight into this video so i'm going to start us off by heading over actually let's just okay let's, before i blind you guys but let's head on over to the documentation here so if you go to discord.js.org it will take you to this page and we'll click on documentation what i want to show you is how to quickly navigate uh the you know the documentation so we can go for instance, set status. So this will be client user and then set status. So this is the thing we're gonna start at originally. And then we'll go into present status data here. And you'll notice that when I previously said online idle, oh, it's not offline, it's invisible, sorry. And then uh, do not disturb. And it obviously is a string. So taking this information here, we should be able to implement it into our code, right? So for instance, if we were to do client.user.set status, and then we were to Actually, let's, you know, put this inside the run, maybe. Quickly just bring this down here. So, do client.user. So what we want to do here is we, it should take two parameters, but for instance, yeah, so we'll bring this over. So you'll notice that it has two, you know, the optional second parameter here, but we don't need this because we don't have a shard and we'll probably get into shards in a later video. But for instance, in this first one, we'll just, you know, it's the first parameter. So we could go for DND, do not disturb. We could go for online, which by the way, it defaults to online. So if you don't want to have it be something else, then just leave it because, you know, it will default to online. But we'll go with DND here and then we'll quickly put a, a comma, a semicolon at the end, sorry. And then what we'll do is we'll start with the bot real quick. So it has been a minute. So <laughs> I didn't mean to pass, you know, client as a parameter because we can obviously do this.client. So we'll just quickly do that and then what we'll do is we'll restart the bot and then it should do this status here so as you can see it has loaded quickly bring up discord and then we shall bring up the minidox client so now that the bot is completely offline what we'll do is we'll quickly run the bot again and i'm pretty sure that should fix it so like that kind of presence or the status story has a little bit of issues where like if the bot wasn't shut down completely beforehand then it won't show so yeah as you can see like it's it's do not disturb now so what we'll do is we're actually show you how to set a uh like static status right so if we bring the documentations back up here what we'll do is go up to the top and then we'll do uh set presence i think it is in v12 so as you can see it gives us a little example here which actually we can just steal and what we'll do is we will steal that and you will notice as well that it shows you that you can also set the status inside of here as well which you can do if um, you want to have a custom message like displayed as well as you know changing the little color so what we'll do is we'll quickly run this bad boy and i'm trying to remember is set game still a thing i don't think that is is it no nah, it's a the v11 thing isn't it let's have a look yeah, set game. So that got, they got rid of that in V12. Uh, what about set activity? Yeah, okay. So set activity is still a thing. So this is probably the thing we'll end up using. So we'll just quickly grab that. Because, you know, as you see, it provides an object. And it's a little bit longer than what we could do here. So we'll just quickly do that. And then we'll hit save. And then we'll reload. And it should come up with the status message. So we bring it back up. As you can see, it says watching discord.js. So without further ado, let's get into what we're actually doing in this video. So we'll quickly just comment this out and then we'll save it down below. We'll go up here and we'll just do const activities. And inside activities, what we're going to end up doing is we're going to have an array. So we're going to have a few items in the array. We can have, uh, for instance, this.client. Dot um, size, and then we'll have obviously guilds so this will or, or servers or whatever you guys want to have so this will be how many servers that your bots in and we'll do this dot client dot uh commands so no we can do channels dot cache 
dot size and then we'll do uh channels and then for the final one don't forget the comma here by the way because you know arrays and that basic arrays uh for the last one it's gonna be a little bit different because um not all users will be cached and even saying this we might have loot duplicates um so you know there's no real easy way to get um you know the um, the max amount of um people you have with your bot so this is probably the most accurate ac accurate 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 way um but yeah honestly like you know there's no real way to be able to tell you know the full amount um so yeah we've got users and then that should be it so we're at a semicolon and then what we'll do is we're going to do let i equal zero and now we're using a lexical definition here because we want to change it so we're going to do that with a set interval so we bring the set interval up we're going to pass an empty parameter with an arrow function and then we do this dot client dot user dot set activity like we did below and then what we're going to do is we're going to do this dot client dot prefix and then do help so this will display the help command so obviously need back ticks here i don't know what i'm doing it will display like what you need to be able to run the help command so the prefix that your bot has as well as help and then people will run that and then we're going to add a line which is on the right hand side of your keyboard uh make sure to i think it's yeah, you push push shift otherwise you get you know the backslash now what we're going to do uh we're going to do activities activities and then we're going to have a little braces here i plus plus we're going to have a percentage sign activities dot length and then go outside of here and we're going to do the watching type so i do type watching it needs to be in a string don't forget that and then obviously we need to set a time frame for this so we'll set it to 1500 seconds out of space and then don't forget semicolon so basically what we're doing here is we're incrementing through the array so this isn't a random element from the array you can do this and i'm not going to show you in this video there is a video in the v11 series that will show you how to basically um pretty much go through and do a random uh, element from each array or you know whatever um, but we're just going to do this here today uh, so it increments through the array so it'll go from zero all the way to the max and then back to zero and so on zero being the first element in the array and that's pretty much it so what we'll do is we'll hit save and then we're gonna do no dot yet again and then we're gonna bring up discord and so the bot was active and we're just gonna wait a little bit this to readjust so as you can see the bot has readjusted we're gonna have to wait another 15 seconds i probably should have put on like five seconds or whatever but do note that there is a rate limit for this and i think we have a rate limits um thing in our discord i always keep forgetting that we move the the commands channel so uh tags and then is it rate rate limits isn't it right oh if i can spell rate limits rate limits yeah so presence update so five times every 60 seconds so 15 seconds is probably where you want to cut it so anyways guys that has been connie here from menu docs i do apologize on the delay i do want to let you guys know that um basically we won't have any videos next week but there will be the weeks following we're going to have an extra web development one uh, it's just because i'm going to be away and i don't have time to be able to prep another two videos for the next week so uh, I do apologize for that because we are just back now. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and pretty much, you know, live long and prosper. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. It's been Connie here from Minion Docs. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.